The last thing we're going to talk about in this section, uh, section 3.3, is the factor theorem. And what it says is f of c is equal to 0, then x minus c is a factor of f of x. Or you could also say it, the inverse, of if x minus c is a factor of our function, then f of c is equal to 0. So basically what that tells us is if we get a 0 of x is equal to 3, that means that x minus 3 will divide evenly into a function. Or, vice versa, if we're given x plus 2, is a factor of a function, then x is equal to negative 2 uh, will give us 0 when we plug it into our function. So let's see if we can't use those uh, in an example problem here. This says solve this equation uh, given the fact that 3 is a 0 of the function. Now up to this point what we've, doing in, what we've been doing in an equation like this is we've been factoring by grouping. But hopefully if you look at this and you say well if we group these two together we can factor out x squared if we group these two together, there is no common factor. So this polynomial is actually unfactorable. And we know we're going to find three solutions. So now our job is, can we find the solutions knowing that, zero, that 3 is a factor? So what this is going to do, it's going to allow us to divide this into our polynomial. So we'll get 2. As you can see, I'm going to use synthetic division for this one since I already have my 0. I still need to hold my place value, which, I, which as you can see, I have done already. So I'll bring the 2 down, so I'll say 2, multiply those 2 together, and I'll get 6, add those together and we get 3, multiply you get 9, add you get negative 2, multiply you get negative 6, and as you can see they were right, 3 is a factor of that because as you can see our remainder turned out to be 0 in this problem. Now how this is beneficial to us is before we had something that was unfactorable. But now after we have divided this, our answer is going to end up being quadratic. And the reason we know it's going to be uh, quadratic is because uh, we had a third degree polynomial and we divide it by one zero, which would be a linear term. So therefore our degree is going to be one less. So we start with two x squared and then three will be our linear coefficient and the negative two our constant. So now we're, we're at somewhere where we have something that's uh, able to be uh, either factored or we can always find the zeros for a quadratic. So even if we can't factor it, we can always use the quadratic formula or completing the square to find our solutions. But I think this one will be factorable. So what we can do is we can say uh, those two numbers would multiply to give us negative 4x. So the two numbers that will work, we would get uh, 2 here, I'll use those in brown. Keep them the same color. So these two will stay the same. And the two numbers that will multiply to give us 4x, so it would differ by that. A positive 4x and a negative x. So now that we have four terms, we can factor by grouping. So out of this, we'll factor out a 2x. And that's going to leave us x plus 2. And out of this one, we can factor out a negative 1 and leave us x plus 2. So actually, the factored form for our polynomial will look like this. Uh, 2x minus 1. And then x plus 2. But then lastly, we don't want to forget about the factor that we already were given. So the other factor that we were given was the, uh, the factor of 3, which we can write as x minus 3. So those are the factors. So stuck, and we couldn't find the solutions. Now we're able to find all the solutions. Each one of their multiplicities is 1, and therefore that gives us our answer.